boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look, I don't normally ask for people to hit up the Cash App like that, you know what I'm saying? Or people to send through PayPal. But if there's one video that I ever make in my life here on YouTube where I think that it might be vindication, all right? And validation for all these times when we've said that the media was controlled by LeBron James, right? And people will be like, oh, y'all paranoid, blah, 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 blah. They did the same thing with Jordan, blah, 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 blah. They did all the same thing, blah, 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 blah. blah. This is the fucking video. If you got love for Too Raw for TV, right? If you got love for me, if you can. Hit that cash app, hit that PayPal, because we've been vindicated, okay? By none other than LeBron James himself. Okay? None other than LeBron James himself. There was a podcast going on, right? There was a podcast that involved two former LeBron James teammates, Shannon Fry recently retired, and Richard Jefferson, retired a few years ago, right? Well-known shield for LeBron James. And it was during this, this, this podcast where LeBron was part of it, where Richard Jefferson was about to curse. And he said, you know, I don't want to get fired, but play that shit. I guess it was something they want to look at, some highlight, whatever. And LeBron James said, oh, ESPN can't fire you. You're my friend. Because, you know, ESPN has these policies against profanity and how you conduct yourself. So he was worried about cursing on uh, live air. LeBron said, oh, they can't fire you. You're my friend. Now, why would an NBA player who is supposedly just a player, okay, supposedly just a player, a very popular player, okay, very influential player, but someone who supposedly isn't connected with ESPN, able to say, oh, ESPN can't fire you because you're my friend. Telling you right now, all you LeBron fanboys have called people like me and Ticket TV and Carcino and LB, okay? You call uh, 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 Town Biz, even Quest X. All these years you've called us paranoid and, you know, and hypocrites and all that shit. All these years the job is saying this shit, we've been seeing what the evidence that's been, that's been presented to us. Time and time again, that he has a lot of control within the media, but apparently he has a lot of control in the media. Okay? All you guys have been telling us that we paranoid and all that shit. Shut the fuck up! Don't want to hear it no more. Okay? We don't want to fucking hear it anymore. That was a smoking gun, okay? And don't bring up fucking Kobe Bryant and all these other players because Kobe never had that type of influence in the media, never. In fact, after the, the rape trial, okay, well, actually, the rape allegations could never really went to trial, okay? After the allegations, the media ain't want nothing to do with Kobe. They were trying to move on. And and, 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 and and ride off players like Steve Nash and Dwayne Wade and then LeBron, okay? But Kobe forced the, the nerves to be back on him, okay, because of his unbelievable individual performances. And then later on, the two back-to-back -back titles, okay? But they never cap for Kobe like that. The media, no, they never cap for him like that. And even with Michael, even with Jordan, I saw some fucking idiot today, oh, well, 
the media were, were, were sucking the uh, Kobe, uh, excuse me, Mike's dick. Uh, this guy hit t- his teammates, and uh, you know he was a gambler and all this type of shit. Man, fuck you. First of all, okay, Mike never had plaques in the media like that. Okay, even even in the second three P, what I do admit, they kind of suck Mike's dick a little bit, but never to this extent that you see with ESPN. Oh, excuse me, as I'm bringing it back. Love ESPN because that's what the fuck it is because it's been vindicated now. Love ESPN. They never cap for Mike like that. Isaiah Thomas hated Michael Jordan, but he still gave him his props. All right? Julius Irvin, he says his third player of all time, or the guy he thinks the greatest, is Kareem. But he would give Mike his props. But you never had these fucking dudes. You never fucking saw uh, uh, ex teammate Cliff Lever- Le- Leverston in the media sucking Jordan's dick. You never saw. Uh, Bobby Hansen with a spot on the desk sucking a uh, co- uh, uh, Mike's dick. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never see. Well, let's go to uh, uh, Stacy King here. Uh, I'll tell you, Jordan, he, he's the best. I mean, the, the, the moves. I mean, the, the grace, the finesse. I mean, he's the best. No, you had professional motherfuckers that gave their objective opinion. Okay, they didn't. They won't fucking paint shields for one fucking player. You know what I'm saying? They won't sign to a cut sports or possibly even getting paid directly from LeBron. As I suspect some of these motherfuckers are. Today is vindication, goddammit. They never count for Mike like this. This dude has so much fucking power. I've never seen it before in my fucking life. Last year, we had an excellent fucking playoff series. You turn the fucking TV, they talk about a fucking team, they ain't make the fucking playoffs! Who do the Lakers have to do this offseason? Man, fuck you! What about the fucking game just happened last night when Kawhi hit a fucking game with a, for the series? Why y'all talk about that? You talking about fucking LeBron? How much more proof do you need? Huh? This is the smoking gun. How much more fucking proof do you need that he controls the media? You got Nick Wright. You got Chris Broussard. You got St- Santa Sharp. You got Colin Cowherd. You got Rachel Nichols. You got Shannon Fry. You got Richard Jefferson. You got Damon Jones. You got Ryan Hollins. You got every fucking, by all these fucking buffoons, every fucking day on TV, telling us how great LeBron James is. And it's not even, on some shows, it's not even a counterpoint to argue it. Some of it's just a fucking LeBron James dick fest. Dick suck fest. And then they try to campaign for this motherfucker to get the MVP award. Where you think it's coming from? At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't give some motherfucking the script himself. He tells some of these motherfuckers what the fuck to say, coaching them. Hey, Richard, bring up this point about me and, uh, you know, bring up this point, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just do that for me, okay? I'll look out for you. Jake West, thank you, LeBron. <laughs> thanks for the gig, man. Thanks for, thanks for all the gig, man. All the, all the little extras you gave me. <laughs> I'm disgusted, man. Because if you, look, if you, are, if you think that you're the best... Let your game speak for it. Let your game speak for it, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have this agenda to change people's mind because you can never change my motherfucking mind. I know who the goat was. Okay, I know who the goat was. In my mind, LeBron, I give him. Top 10 now, okay? I'll push him past Tim Duncan. But to me, this is just me. I ain't going to never have him better than Mike. I'm never going to have him better than Kareem. I'm never going to have him better than Wilt, Bird, Magic, uh, uh, Bill Russell, Akeem Olajuwon, Kobe, or Shaq. He's never going to be better than him, in my opinion, man. Never. Never.
And then you got motherfuckers still defending the shit. Oh, well, well what's wrong with it? Huh? I mean, shit. You just wish Jordan had turned power. You was some fucking hoes. You was some fucking hoe ass. You was a hoe ass nigga. Trick nigga. The fuck you Oh, motherfucker, man. God damn. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You're just as bad as these fucking Trump fans, man. I understand why some people now just want this nigga to get the fuck up out of the sport, man. Just go. Go. Go somewhere, man. Toxic ass nigga, man. Y'all just toxic. You got a fucking uh, uh, a crisis going on, and you got motherfuckers more concerned about why he didn't get the MVP award yet. Man, this shit in the way. Man, I mean, uh, I mean, okay, but okay, so a couple people get sick, man. It's in the way, man. LeBron get ready to win the MVP. LeBron get ready to win the MVP. Yeah, I mean, it don't make no sense. I mean, where they stop the NBA from? It don't make no sense. It ain't fair. The Lakers gonna win the championship. Lakers is gonna win the championship. Well, that's life, motherfucker. Okay? This, next year is next year if the season don't, don't go on. You want you want him to win a title that fucking bad at expense of your great uncle Ray Ray's health, nigga? What the fuck is wrong with you, you bitch ass nigga? You think as a Bulls fan, I said to myself when I was 13, 14 years old, man, I mean I know his dad died, but did he have to retire? I mean, the Bulls could have four peed it. They could have four peed it. The fuck I would be on some stupid shit like that. The fuck is wrong with you? Motherfuckers, man. The fuck is wrong with you? But that's it. I want to hear no more about we paranoid and all this shit. This is vindication. He controls the fucking media, man. All you got to do is just watch fucking TV. All you got to do is watch it. But of course, if you root and and worship the ground the motherfucker walks on, you'll love it. But if you're an objective basketball fan... It's, it's blatantly obvious. It's blatantly obvious. Look who gets these jobs, man. It's always people that he's cool with. All he got to do, all you got to do is when you're applying for a job at ESPN, when you put your references, put LeBron James' name on your fucking resume. Put LeBron James as your reference. You will get hired. It's mighty funny. All these dudes are in some way connected with LeBron. Former teammates, okay, of LeBron. You know what I'm saying? All of them. Even Kendrick Perkins. I forgot to mention him. Former teammate of LeBron. When he was with Cleveland. And it's mighty funny. When you heard them, when it was players... They seemed objective. It's funny because if I'm not mistaken, Kendrick Perkins is a Boston Celtic. Why the fuck is he capping for LeBron? I mean, technically, when you think about it, right? That's like, that's like, uh, I'm not saying he's the same level of player, but that's like fucking John Sally capping for Jordan. And they were teammates later on. But he was always considering himself a bad boy. Kendrick Perkins should be. Kendrick Perkins should consider himself a Celtic of that era. He's capping for LeBron. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder why. Think, niggas. Think. The shit ain't that fucking difficult to decipher. That's why you have to have people like me and Ticket and Town and Questex and LB and all of us. You got to have people like us to counter this bullshit that's going on in the media and some of it on YouTube. Because I know some people on YouTube don't like us. See us as LeBron haters. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm tired of that trying to cater and call the people. If you don't like what the fuck I say on my channel, just fucking unsub. This 
this is all the proof that was needed today. Thank you, LeBron, for validating what everybody fucking knew any motherfucking way. No player has had this type of power. Never. None. I'm going to end this video on this. Any player that poses a threat to LeBron in any way, shape, or form becomes public enemy number one to every one of these fucking shields in the media. They all they either openly or indirectly diss him. Whether it's that bullshit ass MVP list with no no uh no listing necessary. Well how the how the kids say, oh, in no particular order if they don't particular order be the order, yeah. But yet he got LeBron number one. Coincidentally. Coincidentally, even though there's no no fucking uh, particular order. Or you got Kawhi 7th or 8th or some shit. You know, what you know what I'm saying? When they thought Kawhi was coming to L.A., oh, they were singing his praises. Oh, man, this guy's is like Jordan. And all this, he's super duper, 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 duper. When he pulled that fast from the Lakers and LeBron, oh, then he became public enemy number one to all these motherfuckers. Oh, Kawhi, he, he don't make his teammates better. He don't get assists. And, 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 and he missed too many games, and he's faking injuries. He's faking injuries. Fuck these dudes, man. We all know what the fuck the real is, man. La media. 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 I'm going to keep saying that shit. La media. La media. That's what they are collectively. La media. That's his fucking click. That's his game. And I'm fucking out.